Hello, my name is David Anthony Cañas and I'm a rising junior at Pueblo High School in Tucson, Arizona. The research that I've conducted over the summer is based off of the COVID-19 pandemic that swept the entire world throughout the past few months. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused mass economic instability in many countries and most importantly, mass human deaths throughout the world, averaging at about 645,000 human deaths since the pandemic has begun. The main research question that I chose to pursue is, what is the average recovery time for a patient that's contracted COVID-19? And when I mention recovery time, I mean the time that it takes for the virus to completely enter and leave the body. So how long would the patient remain asymptomatic? How long they would be able to contaminate others? How long would the virus sickness be in the body? And whether the body could pass the sickness or if the vaccine was needed to cure the sickness. Throughout my research, I've discovered antibodies, a form of defense that your body creates in order to fight off a virus. Now, when a person is infected with COVID-19, it takes about one to three weeks for the body to start creating antibodies. And when the body starts creating antibodies, the virus will begin to pass as many of the antibodies fight off the infections in your immune system. As I further my research into COVID-19, I discover that people will remain asymptomatic for about two weeks. And once people's symptoms of the sickness begin to set in, they will remain contagious for another 10 days. So that will give about a 24 day window where people will be able to contaminate other human beings in society. Now, back to my original research question, what is the average recovery time for a patient that's been infected with COVID-19? Now, the recovery time is actually very dependent on the severity of the case. For a mild case, the recovery time could be about two weeks. And for anything more severe, the recovery time can range from three to six weeks. It really depends on how the treatment goes. And this will conclude my research presentation on the COVID-19 virus.